The service procedures detailed in this program apply to 1990 through late 1992 Plymouth Laser and Eagle Talon vehicles equipped with 2-liter dual overhead cam engines. This includes both turbo and non-turbo equipped engines. The program will illustrate the proper timing belt replacement and camshaft timing procedures in the sequence required. These procedures are part of a 60,000 mile maintenance requirement that must be performed on all vehicles equipped with the 2-liter dual overhead cam engine. Within this general vehicle population, a customer satisfaction notification, number 554, is being issued to cover 1992 Plymouth Laser and Eagle Talon models built from September 1991 through October 1991. On these 1992 vehicles, the camshaft timing belt teeth may fail prematurely, resulting in engine damage. Vehicles covered under customer satisfaction notification 554 must have the camshaft timing belt replaced immediately. For these vehicles, a quantity of camshaft timing belts, part number MD182291, will be distributed initially and billed to all involved dealers. Additional parts may be ordered as needed to support customer demand. To begin the procedure, the camshaft timing belt must first be removed. To do this, first remove the engine compartment splash shield from the left side of the vehicle. Next, support the engine with engine support fixture C4852 or 7137 and remove the left engine mount and bracket. Now loosen the water pump pulley bolts and remove the alternator water pump drive belt and the power steering drive belt. Next, remove the water pump pulley. Remove the air conditioning tensioner pulley bracket and the air conditioning belt and remove the crankshaft pulley. Next, remove the upper and lower timing belt covers. You will notice that four different length bolts are used on the covers. Note their locations for later installation. After removing the timing belt covers, rotate the crankshaft clockwise to bring the number one piston to the top dead center position of the compression stroke. In order to properly align all timing marks, the crankshaft may have to be rotated up to six times due to the oil pump to balance shaft gear ratio. Again, be sure to rotate the crankshaft only in a clockwise direction. With the number one piston at top dead center, both camshaft sprocket dowel pins should be at a 12 o'clock position and the camshaft sprocket timing marks should be in line with the top surface of the cylinder head. The camshaft sprocket timing marks should be aligned together with the left exhaust camshaft mark at the three o'clock position and the right intake camshaft mark at the nine o'clock position. Also, ensure that the crankshaft and oil pump sprocket marks are aligned with their corresponding timing mark pointers. After properly aligning the timing marks, remove the rubber plug from the inner timing belt cover and screw special tool number MD998738 into the engine left support bracket until it makes contact with the tensioner arm. Next, loosen the tensioner pulley center bolt. Now slowly rotate the special tool until the hole in the auto tensioner push rod is aligned with the hole in the auto tensioner housing. The push rod may have to be rotated if the hole in the rod is not vertically in line with the hole in the housing. With the holes aligned, insert a 1 16th inch Allen wrench or similar size pin in the holes to hold the push rod in a reset or pin position. When the auto tensioner is in the pin position, the special tool can be backed off. At this point, inspect the auto tensioner and replace it only if it shows signs of oil leakage. Finally, remove and discard the camshaft timing belt. Before continuing with the second half of this procedure, you should be aware of a couple variations. First, at this point in the procedure for vehicles receiving a 60,000 mile timing belt service, timing belt B must also be replaced. 
follow the procedures in the service manual to perform these steps. Be aware that vehicles involved in customer satisfaction notification number 554 do not require timing belt B to be replaced. Secondly, for 1990 and 1991 model year vehicles only, the auto tensioner must be the latest type, which is part number MD164533. And the proper auto tensioner can be identified by measuring the overall body length. The latest type measures 100 millimeters in length, while the old type is 91 millimeters. The auto tensioner must be replaced if it is not the latest type. Again, this step applies only to 1990 and 1991 vehicles and is not required on 1992 vehicles involved in the customer satisfaction notification 554. The second half of this procedure will cover the installation of the new camshaft timing belt. To begin, leave the Allen wrench or pin installed in the auto tensioner and rotate the tensioner pulley so that the pin holes are to the left of the center bolt and then finger tighten the center bolt. With the timing belt removed, you should be aware that the exhaust camshaft sprocket may rotate or move out of position in a counterclockwise direction. Ensure that the camshaft timing marks are properly aligned before installing the timing belt. Also, make sure that the notch on the crankshaft sprocket and the arrow on the oil pump sprocket are still aligned with their corresponding timing mark pointers. After verifying the alignment of the timing marks, obtain a Phillips screwdriver with a shank diameter of 8 millimeters. Measure 60 millimeters or 2.4 inches from the tip of the screwdriver and mark the shank. Next, remove the balance shaft plug on the rear side of the cylinder block and insert the screwdriver in the hole. If the screwdriver can be inserted at least 60 millimeters into the hole, the balance shaft is in the correct position. However, if the screwdriver depth is less than 60 millimeters, 20 to 25 millimeters, the oil pump sprocket must be rotated until the screwdriver can be inserted to the proper depth of at least 60 millimeters. When the balance shaft alignment is achieved with all other timing mark alignments, leave the screwdriver in the balance shaft alignment hole. This balance shaft alignment